what is dowsing for the purposes of this video? Uh, we're doing dowsing for healing, and dowsing is discerning or finding and even uh, changing energetic patterns, whether in the body, outside of the body, properties, uh, houses, water, uh, pretty much anything that you can think of. And so uh, I'm going to show you how to do dowsing for healing today. And we're going to take, uh, we're going to make our own dowsing rod, first of all. And this is a piece of copper rod stock that you can get for like maybe 10 cents at a hardware store. But you can use a coat hanger. Uh, and making dowsing rods are, is not like a rocket science or anything. Uh, you basically just want to have more weight on one end uh, so that the micro vibrations in the other end uh, make a big movement on the opposite end. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to make a bend uh, probably start depending on how long I want it and I want mine probably about this long so I'm going to make a bend at 90 degrees and then I'm going to come down about uh, about two sun which is about two inches and I'm going to bend it back the opposite direction like so okay and then once I've got it like so then I'm going to bend it. I'm going to go too soon from the center down, so about two inches down from the center. And I'm going to bend it back the opposite direction. And so this makes a wavy like pattern, as you can see. And uh, this will give it more weight on the end to bobble. So I can, it makes it easier to discern what's going on. And I'll make. Uh, I'll make one more bend like so and so now I've got three lines or, or, or three waves here on the end of my my rod now I'm going to take the other end and I want to curl it up so that it fits right in Lao Gong right in the heart of palm right there and so I'll just go in about four soon which is about the length of my index finger and I'll bend back up into itself making like a little uh, semicircle or hook on it that can fit inside my hand comfortably okay and so now I've got some weight as you can see on the side and I've got I've got my handle and now we just need to break the rod in by training it. So first we're going to we're going to take this rounded end for the handle and I'm going to stick it right here at Lao Gong and the heart of palm and I and it kind of cradles my hand my hand kind of cradles right right in here the whole handle. And so it's very comfortable feeling and uh, that's very important because you don't want to have any tension on the rod as you're doing it. And so first we're going to train the rod to respond the way that we want it to, to give us the answers that we want to be able to find whatever or to uninstall patterns of energy or install new patterns of energy. And so remember the rod is not super super important because it's not really the rod. The power is in you and your connection to God. You know this is not a a, a magic tool or, or, or uh, a pagan thing. This is this is a spiritual phenomenon. Okay, so I, I want to say, and this is what I'll, I'll move the rod to start with when I'm training it. So I'll say, uh, give me a yes response, and I'll just ever so lightly I'll move the the head up and down, and that trains my energy to move the micro muscles in my hand to cause a reaction on the end of the rod. You can see that, you know, moving up and down. I'm doing that, okay, right now. And so I say, thank you. And then that means that it should stop and get ready for the next command, which is going to be, give me a no response. And I'm just gonna slightly move it left and right, like that, like it's shaking its head no now, okay? Again, I am moving the rod this time, okay? 
because this is how you train it so you can build up your energy to actually move it. Now, my next one is going to be an uninstall. And an uninstall removes negative patterns or whatever uh, from property or people or whatnot. So I'm going to say, uh, give me an uninstall. And I'm going to spin counterclockwise. Counter, as in to remove. So I'm spinning the rod right now to train it. This is, a, this is an uninstall, counterclockwise and the energy will line up and it will uh, it will learn so now thank you and I stop moving it and I say give me an install and so that'll be installing positive energies like love happiness prosperity whatever you can you know use your imagination <clears throat> uh, this is going to be of course a clockwise rotation and so I'm going to train it to move clockwise when I want an install pattern to occur. All right, and so thank you, and I stop it again. Now, so far, I've been moving the rod all myself. I'm going to just adjust the handle here. It's not quite the way I want it. There we go. Kind of, kind of sticking me a little bit. There we go. So now we're going to make it move without actively making it move. We're not going to be a participant. We're just going to kind of be a uh, part of what's going on. And so my muscles, I'll have no active part in moving the rod this time. Now sometimes you have to train it like three or four times when you're new to this before you can actually get it to move. But uh, that's usually all it takes. You know, just, you know, you want to relax and hold it, hold it, you know, kind of flimsily, but yet uh, structured at the same time. You know, don't be so relaxed that you're, you know, you're not putting any effort into it at all. And kind of be in touch with the movement. You'll just kind of feel it do its own thing. And just allow it to do that. Okay, so I, uh, I say now, give me a yes response. Okay, now I am not moving the rod. You know, the micro muscles in my arm are responding and then the rod is showing out here that there is movement okay now if you see my hand moving that's only because if you're holding something that's moving your hand does move a little bit but I assure you and you will see just from practicing that the rod will move all by itself okay thank you okay give me a no response okay so it's shaking back and forth as a no response okay. again I am not moving the rod it moves itself Thank you. Okay. Give me an uninstall. Okay. And there it spins counterclockwise. Thank you. Give me an install. And now it spins clockwise. Thank you. Okay. And so, you know, what do these commands mean and why are we doing them? Okay. If you want to get an answer to a question okay any question that you, you know I mean you can start out with some questions that you know the answer to and you can go from there like for example uh, you can say you know is my name and then state your name like I can say is my name David Harris okay and uh, you know I get a yes response okay thank you, you know. is my name Susan no, so, and it says no. So you can do that to practice your yes and no responses. Let's say, for example, though, we were going to do, uh, well, you know, what's an uninstall for and what's an install for? Let's say we were going to do something like, let's say maybe my shoulders are tight and I've got tension in my neck, okay, or a headache, all right, or knee pain or back pain or, or anything that you can care to think about, all right? From here, I'll say, you know, are there tight muscles or is there damage or is there, you know, I just ask, give it a structure. You want to give whatever it is that's bothering you a structure. Let's say that my neck is tight. You know, do I have a tight neck? Okay, and it says, yes, I do. All right, can you remove these patterns? 